Hello Virgo, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. That was short and sweet. Alright, what do we have for Virgo? That's curious. Okay. Okay, I like I'm happy so far. Let's see how we let's see how it goes. Because it seems like we're gonna have some really good information. I'm feeling very positive about this. Not seeing really any negative cards. Not that we want them, don't get me wrong, but so far, seems really good. Yeah, I am that intuitive reader. We gotta wait till I start pulling the information off them. <laughs> you got this, the grace with the um, Ace of Pentacles. The heart on this card up here really stands out to me. Kind of like you know, there's a little bit of like, I don't want, I don't know if I want to say exhaustion or nervousness or something where you're a little bit like. Oh, like, I don't know. I don't know about this. I feel that energy around you. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't know about this. I just don't know about this. I just don't know. And But you seem to have set yourself up in a, the most stable way you could have. You did everything you could. You're on point with it. You're, you're doing what needs to be done. You got a very solid base here. Um, so even if you feel like things are not quite where you want them to be, you have put them in a position to where they're pretty much... I feel like the best they were gonna. Like, realistically, I understand they may not be perfect, but still, you've got this a ahead of the curve here is what I'm getting. You're doing pretty good. Um, although I still feel like a, a questioning, like, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think I could have done better. I feel that energy around you. Yet, at the same time, it's like, no, no, this is good. You're, you're doing better than you think you are. So that's where we're starting off. The Ace of Pentacles is a long haul card, too. Very good with Virgo, because Earth, Earth, you know, positive earth energy hold to what you've been doing where you've been is where you're going you've set things up already where you are now is based on where you've been so it doesn't feel bad to me it feels very good going into the next phase um i feel you're doubting yourself but things are good that's the thing you, you are doubting yourself in the environment you got the the um the romance card it feels different than the romance, though. I feel like there's... I know it says romance, and maybe that does fit for you, but I'm getting, like, somebody is, like, helping you or saying, you know, you're doing good. We're in a, we're in a good place. Things are going well. Let's not worry about this. I'm happy with what you've done. You know, we're doing the best we can. That, that type of energy is there. Your matching energy is divine guidance, kind of like... You're not knocking it down. You're not you're not negating it out. You're like, okay, yeah, I think you're right. Your energy seems to be supportive of this support. Does that make sense? Like somebody's telling you things are going well and you're like, you're not you're just going with it. Like, yeah, okay, that's good. You're supporting their support of you. But it seems like by by doing that, you're also giving that person the same thing they're giving you. You're making them feel good the way you're making they're making you feel good. Like you're it's like giving that favor back and forth. Again, though, I'm getting this glamour feel, kind of like you're doubting it. Kind of like, well, I don't know. Eh, I don't know if it's really that good. But if that's what makes them feel good, I'll go with it. It's almost like you're letting somebody feel... You're letting somebody try to help you feel better. You're letting them do that and then trying to agree with it because you know it's making them feel better to think that they're making you feel better. But it is working. It's confusing to me how, like, it's like going back and forth. It's confusing. The reality of it, though, is the Six of Wands. Like, you are succeeding. You are doing well. But you, I feel like people, either you or the other side, or maybe somebody else is doubting it, constantly doubting it. Like, I don't know if it's really that good. I don't know if we're really okay. But I'm getting the Six of Wands saying, yes, it actually, you were doing a lot better than expected, is what I'm getting. A lot better than many other people. Um, that's what I'm feeling. You're doing a lot better. This is good here. There is some anxiety with that, though. Definitely some anxiety. Trying to keep it together. 
trying to you want to believe be believing things are good but you're like ah i don't know i don't feel like everything's at where it should be not comfortable with what i'm looking at but i guess for right now everything's fine now this is going on in the environment like it's this is like going on in its own like this is definitely affecting you but this is what's in the environment that you just have to just kind of roll with it it's not It's not really anything you can do to change. You just kind of have to wait for it to happen. And as it happens, you just kind of have to roll with it as it happens. But it's not bad. This seems to affect you heavily, though. There's the Four of Wands. Things are stabilizing. Things are actually stabilizing. Um, but then there's these two cards next to it. The Strength card and the... And it's the Princess of Swords, but the Princess, especially in this deck, she's not... I don't feel she's just the Page of Swords energy, and I don't feel like she's the Knight of Swords. I feel like she's... like, she uses both. Um, I also feel like the, the the Prince seems to also do that in this deck. I don't know why. It's just how I, how I feel when I read it. But what I'm getting is, like, there's some... Sometimes things come forward very forwardly, and just, bam, there's information. Other times there's a lot of, like receptive like let's see what happens energy it kind of you don't know what it's going to do because it keeps going back and forth sometimes it's more active sometimes it's more passive it just seems to be observing and then it seems to be communicating it's back and forth the strength here is trying to do what's right but the strength the strength that's tying in these two cards is telling me anything that's moving forward is moving forward in a very st stable dependable way it seems like information is a little bit lacking but when 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 something is committed to that's the the four of wands when something is committed to and known this is what's happening this is what's going forward that information is very dependable it's just very scarce that's the thing um but on the other hand at least when it comes through it should be very dependable so kind of taking it with a grain of salt the information isn't ideal but what comes through is at least dependable is what I'm getting. When you know, like, okay, when, it, when I get this information, it's quite, it's on point. It's very rare to get something. But when you get it, you know, okay, that's what actually is happening. You don't have people guessing. You don't, people aren't bringing forth, like, I think, I think this, I think that. That's not making it through. That's just not even coming your way. When they have proof, like, okay, there's $20 in the bank. It's on the ledger. You can see it on the computer. Okay, listen, there's $20 in the bank, and you that's what they're telling you. If they think, well, I think we're going to get some money, it should be happening in the next couple days, maybe 50, maybe 20, maybe 10, we're not sure. They're not telling you that. It's not even coming forward. Nothing is showing up until actually something's there. Oh, this is what's there. Here's the proof. This is what we know. This is actually in the bank. It's there. Here you go. Proof right there. Which there is some comfort in that, because you don't want to be dallying back and forth with possibilities it's just not helpful queen of swords is in the environment as well when information does come forward it feels very blunt and just like again 20 bucks in the bank see it right there that's it that's all we got that's all that is nothing more possibilities don't know anything about possibilities just saying that's what's there Looking into it, trying to find it, yes, trying to find it. Got it, don't know yet, can't tell you anything. 20 bucks in the bank, that's what we got. Um, it's very short, it's very short and to the point. I, I don't want to say it's cold, but it's kind of like emotionless. Like, you know, hey, this is just what it is. What's, there's nothing to feel about it, that's just what it is. That's kind of the attitude I'm getting from it. When I'm getting this from you, though, when, you're, when this is coming over to you, though, you're just like, no, I need facts. I can't do anything with possibilities. I need facts. I need facts. So when it comes through, you seem to roll with it quite well. Um, when I'm getting friendship on your side, it's kind of like appreciating it for the truth. Um, you're in a position what, that I'm feeling. It's kind of like if somebody tells me, oh, we have possibilities in the next day or two. Could be a week. Hopefully less. Could be X amount. Could be more. Could be less. You can't build anything from that. You know, it's kind of like if you want to build a house and somebody says, well, you might have materials. Could happen anytime in the next couple of weeks, maybe. 
you can't plan to build a house that way if you might have this. And you're like, is it going to be wood, metal, stone? What's it going to be? Probably. You can't, you can't plan with that either because you build differently with each material. You're like, okay. Uh, until you, you want facts. So you're okay. When you get facts, if they're just blunt and to the point, you can, you can do something with that. So you're appreciative of that. Blunt and to the point is okay. Now, when the truth keeps coming forward, it, it is scarce. It doesn't seem to come forward very much at the time. At, at a time, but you're like, all right, I got this. Let me write this down. Let me just make note of this. I know that's there. I was, I seen the proof. I know this is working. This is what I'm holding to. And then basically, the authenticity is like you know what's true, and that's what you got to hold to. And that's just what you got to work with. Um, it feels a little easier when you have proof to stand with. Because you know what what's actually there, it is a little bit disconcerting when there's a lot of open a lot of open questions that don't have answers. But you don't want bull. You don't want like possibilities. It's not helping you. So I feel like you're thankful for what you do get and thankful for the truth that it gave you. At this point, you seem okay. Where are we going next? <clears throat> there's good cards here. Uh, I'm trying to cheat and look. Okay, so things seem to be changing. Um, is there a time frame of how long this is changing? Uh, at some point, the answers come. They definitely come. Because you get the harvest card on your side. The thing is with the harvest, like, it's kind of like when you plant something, it takes a while for it to come forward, right? Answers come forward, but I'm getting like, it's kind of like, the information finally happens, but it's kind of like saying, okay, we know when the materials are coming. It's going to be the 24th, we're just going to say. So, and you're like, well, it's the first of the month, so, but no, it's coming the 24th, and this is why we know, and this is like, this is when. Um... I just don't feel like there's any way to work around it. If it comes earlier than that, great. You're not expecting that. Um, it has to be done right, whatever it is. So it's kind of like, all right, okay. I know this information is true. I know this is honest. I can work with the 24th. Not about liking it or not. That's what it is. You've also got the hear event with it. That's where I'm feeling that energy on your side. Like, all right, it's kind of not, not in a position to where... It, I can really do anything about liking it or not liking it. It's what it is. It's the truth, and that's what I need. Um, okay, I'm going to work with it. I'm just going to have to. That's just how it is. I'll, I'll work with it, and I'll take one step at a time. Justice also comes forward for you. Justice is kind of tipping into the environment, so it might be just like the situation itself. Justice is coming forward finally. Uh, it's kind of like you know what's happening. The harvest is coming forward. You know the rules you have to deal with. At least you see the end in sight of your situation. You're happy with that. Like it's not really a, it's not a situation you can dicker about. It's just, it is what it is. And you're like, you know what? I just got to handle it the best way I can. Um, psychic protection and trust are coming through here. Psychic protection is kind of like the information you have and what, how it's going to play out in the next, how many weeks, days, whatever you have coming out here. Because once you know where it stands, the information comes to you, you can plan from there. You, you're in this position where, okay, now I can plan. Then you just got to kind of protect yourself from people who are upset and trust that it's just going to, everything is where it's supposed to be and it's going to stay online and keep going that way. The information seems dependable. You're just going to have to roll with it. I mean, anything in life, you know, things have variables that we don't like. Uh, I think earth signs know this better than anybody else. We can plan, but the best plan every once in a while has hit hitches, and you know that. But the trust is like, you know what, I, I'm just going to roll with it. This is what I got. People are doing the best they can. We're going to keep going with this. Psychic protection seems like, I feel like psychic protection, tech protection is saying this is staying on point. That's what I kind of feel with the trust and psychic protection. Like trust it's going to work out. Psychic protection is like trying to make this work out best as possible. Information keeps coming forward. Like, for example, 
if you get message on the first on the 24th whatever you need is going to happen information keeps coming to you to reinforce that over that time period so that information keeps coming forward that seems to really improve how you feel about the whole situation um it's one of those things where it's almost like I'm afraid to look. I'm afraid to see what the message says. It's kind of like, you know, all right, it's the 1st. They say it's going to be the 24th. And then the 5th, you get a message, and you're just like, you're a little bit like, oh, I'm afraid to look. What if this is a delay? What if this is saying something changed? You're a little afraid to look, but then you you see the message, and they're just giving you updates. Like, yep, everything's still on point. Everything looks like it's good for the 24th. We're still cool. This is what's happened so far. This is where we are in the situation. We're gathering the supplies, and we're thinking we're going to be able to ship it on this day. You should get it on that day, and this is why, and this is where, and this is how things are playing out. And it's just kind of reinforcement. When you get that reinforcement, because I feel like you were nervous at first, it's kind of like, oh, okay, that's good. Like it's, a, it's a moment of just like, oh, okay, so far so good. You know, it's not in the bag, but it's like a moment of just a little bit of like releasing that tension. It's not all gone. I, I know, I know. But you're like, okay, at least we're feeling better about it. Like, okay, so far, so good. As it keeps coming forward until you get that resolution, I feel like there's going to be moments where you keep getting these reinforcing messages. And I feel like it may, it may come a little earlier. It doesn't seem too dependable in the sense of, like, coming earlier. It seems more dependable happening on time. It's more likely to happen on time. I don't think it's going to be early. I think it's going to be on time. For whatever you're expecting, like, for example, if they said the 24th, literally, even if they could do it before that, they won't. I don't know why that is. I'm feeling that energy. Whatever you're waiting for, it's not happening till the day they say. Like, there, there's even if they could do it earlier, they won't. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, but it works out. It does work out. The date seems very specific. It just seems like they won't, whoever they are, whatever that this situation is for you, it won't come before the date, whatever date was set. It just won't. I, even if it could, it won't. I don't know why. I, there's, the information is just not there. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's what I got. I'm just like trying to push through and I'm just like, I'm getting like a blank, just like a blank. Um, so I'm going to leave that. I hope that helps. All right, so I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.